Good morning and welcome, my friend. Uh, welcome to day 20 of the 3030 challenge. Have you ever had one of those verses that, let's say, rise, rose up on the one day and then the very next day, another verse seemed to connect to that previous verse the previous day? Well, that just happened to me this morning. Uh, the verse that we talked about uh, back in chapter 19, uh, the verse that rose up in 20, definitely connect, <clears throat> connected with that uh, same verse. So when that happens, I just feel led that God is really trying to tell me something, that he can continues to bring that uh, theme up, and it's really a point of me stopping and going, okay, Lord, let me really get this, because obviously you're bringing it in front of me uh, consistently. All right? So as we look at reading Proverbs 20 for today, my, um, my verse, as we start out with the G, was in verse 24. And here we go. A man's steps are directed by the Lord. How, how then can anyone understand his way? Do you remember my verse yesterday? It was uh, chapter 19, verse 2. It's not good to have zeal without knowledge, nor be hasty and miss the way. Uh, it was just about me slowing down and allowing the Lord to guide and direct my steps. So here's the reveal for me today. There are times when I wonder if I'm on the right path. Many people, even those close to me, have said, Scott, you really should go this way. Oh, have you thought about going that way? Maybe you should take it this way. My implementation uh, for this verse is, if I remain daily in his grip, I need not to worry. I just need to trust that God is working everything out in his time, which is probably not aligned to my timeline. Anyone relate? My prayer uh, this morning for this verse and just kind of where I'm at is, Lord, I hit the pause bus button of life and ask that if I'm off course in any part of my life, please help direct me to be more in line with your perfect and pleasing will. Lord is definitely revealing kind of where, um, you know, there's times in this new year that we want to get going after things, but just need to really, for me, pause, slow down, uh, allow the Lord to lead, and then my whole goal is to follow him, right? Uh, he knows He knows the better path. So love to hear your verse. Love to hear how God is really moving on your heart. And maybe a theme's rising up uh, the last few days or these last 20 days. Um, love to hear it. So let's, uh, let me just close this time out uh, as we go to the Lord and just kind of lay it before him, okay? Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again that we can come together. And Lord, as we open up your living word, and you just speak, Lord, in the depths of our soul. Um, Lord, help us to not only listen and hear that, but Lord, I would, I would just ask for all of us that it would land in our hearts, Lord, that we are then walking out your word and not just hearing about it. So Lord, help continue to guide me down the path you have for me. And Lord, I know that there's times of unknown and there's still things I, I don't understand. And I know that maybe not until I see you face to face in heaven. And I pray, Lord, that those arms are open wide as you welcome me in and everything will be understood uh, at, that, at that time. Lord, I love you. We appreciate um, allowing us to come together like this. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, bless you guys. And have a great day. I look forward to seeing you uh, tomorrow morning. Be blessed.